The new year started off on a wrong foot for travelers who are returning to Lamo from the Christmas holidays. A suspected terrorist ambushed a bus plying the Lamo Mombasa road, killing at least three people and injuring three others. Initial reports indicate that the Mombasa Raha bus was hijacked at around 10.40 Thursday morning along Nyongoro area near Witu town in Lamu County. Nikapata unanisa ni yangu imesimama mahali imepak. Sikujua kunaendelea nini lakini kwa mawazo yangu nikafikiria pengine amesimamisha mahali mtu anajisaidia. Naona. Kwa overtake hiyo nisa ni tu hivi. Nikapata jamaa wametokezea watatu mbele na wakaanza kurusha risasi juu ya hewa. So wamerusha risasi tatu ya ya, ya nne ndio hiyo wamepiga hapa kwa gari. Wakapiga hapa ndio mimi nikajua hawa jamaa wana ni, 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 ni watu wabaya. Sasa nikakaza mwendo siku simama. Wakapiga wakapiga tayari moja mkono wa wapanda wa conductor huku gari ikaanza ikaanza kuyumba yumba na magari mengine kwa hivyo msafara ulikuwa mrefu gari la kwanza lilikuwa mbele la askari gari lingine lilikuwa nyuma so katika ile kutaka kuona kwamba kila mtu yuko katikati ya haya magari nafikiri ile gari lika, likaja baadaye lakini ilipofika unaona iliweza kuokoa wananchi three passengers are said to have managed to flee from their captors and alerted the police they claimed that the militants ordered all occupants who were between 34 to 36 out of the bus took them to the forest and allegedly began profiling them. Nakimbizana kuangalia vile nitajisaidia maisha. Nikaenda mpaka nikasimama huko mbele mwisho wa Nyongoro huko. Nikasimama huko kama 5 minutes nikaona Simba kwa shindio hii inapita na na TSS. Sasa nikaomba lift Simba akanibeba. Simba kocha akanibeba. Tukaenda mpaka tukafika witu tukaandika ripoti pale. The Al-Shabaab militant group has not claimed responsibility of the attack although witnesses fear their attackers could have been from the terror outfit. In the meantime, transport along the Lamu Garsen road has been suspended. This comes days after at least 10 people were killed including police officers when terrorists attacked a bus using an improved explosive device IED in Kotulo area near the Kenya Somalia border. Brenda Chiriot, K24 Evening Edition.